Um, Sheikh Jazakallah for your patience. Uh, Sheikh, however, my last two, three really brief questions had their key points unaddressed today. I request your attention for another one. Okay, this is um, the last time we will take anything about zakat from you, Bint Adam, okay? Uh, all right. Okay, so Sheikh, um, I'm aware that prioritizing zakat for needy relatives is recommended, right? But if, we, if you're distributing, um, like, for example, a grandma, my grandma tells me that so-and-so family in the relatives is very needy. But I feel like their concepts regarding Zika eligibility and the neediness are not very clear. So now that family may be very needy, but if I don't even get into all this at all, I don't investigate. And um, there might be very needy relatives, but yet I choose to give it outside to a trusted one for distribution. So does it only reduce one reward or is this actually sinful and the Zika becomes invalid? Whose money is it? A family member. So who's telling you to give it to someone else? Um, my grandmother. No, no. The one who's responsible is the owner of the money. So if the owner of the money says to you, obey your grandmother, then you have to obey her. If the family member says, no, this is up to your discretion, wherever you want to put it, and you think it is wiser and safer, you do that. In this case, you must not obey your grandmother.